Hi, we are engineering brothers. In our previous class, we have shown you what is the exact flash distribution for our two different configuration for our cross and dot currents for any sort of conductors. And I have already given you the right form of ideas over there. I have used uh, the right hand screw rule to understand uh, that analogy. So I am not going to repeat that over here. In our present class, I am solely interested on our flux distribution for our current carrying two current carrying conductors. And we have considered we have got the two current. Say we have got the two wires in between these two wires. We have got that both these wires. If I look at as an observer, I can see that both the currents are going away from you. Why? Because we have considered both the conductors are according to our sign convention. We do have the arrow is our cross, which means the arrow is going away from us, which signifies that the current is going away from our point of view. And uh, what is the definition for our screw rule? The screw rule is quite quite naturally uh, the screw. If I do rotate the screw in the clockwise direction, you will see that the screw is moving inside the wall. Okay, so quite naturally the current is going away from you okay that sort of current has been considered as our cross so we have got the two condu conductor and we have considered for both these conductors that is been placed parallelly for both these conductors the current is going away from you now we are more interested on our what is the flux distribution for that condition okay say we have got our two two conductor elements we have got the two wires and in between these two wires there is some certain current that is flown now we are more interested on our flux distribution if for both the conductor the current is going away from you which we have given you that the both the conductors here say this is our conductor one and this is our conductor two say this is our conductor one and this is our conductor two and i have signified that say this is our one this is two and for both these conductors the uh, if i do imagine or if i do like to imagine that that the current is going away from you now what is the for what for that condition what is the flux distribution that is look like the flux distribution is look like this one and you can tell me why do i consider this one if you say that if you consider this outer line consider this outer line outermost line for our say this is our conductor one this is two so for our conductor one if you do consider the outermost magnetic line or outermost magnetic line supports which we have got the flux so if you consider the flux distribution of our outer part you will see that for both these one it is been in the same direction say this is been going downwards and this is also going downwards for green and for our conductor one and conductor two you can see that for both this condition if you take this outer outermost flux distribution diagram you will see that for both this condition the current is uh, this is not the current the sorry the, this is the flux distribution so the flux is going in the same direction you can see that this has been going downwards for our conductor two and this is also going downwards okay and if you do follow each and every lines of force you will say that all the directions is identical 
okay for our inner ring if you consider this inner ring you can see that this is also in the going downwards this is also going downwards now if you consider the opposite direction over here uh, this is going upwards this is going upwards for our outer ring this one for our conductor one the magnetic lines of force is going in the upwards direction at the left hand side and this is also true for the conductor 2 as well so because of this you can see that the lines of force are always in the same direction okay for our inner ring uh, these uh, from outside the inner third ring fourth ring so these lines of force or the flux distribution or in our total consideration the flux distribution for our two currents uh, these two conductors have the identical direction of our magnetic flux distribution now you would love to add these two flux distribution over here you will get this upper part if you just add these one plus two in terms of flux distribution you will get this diagram this diagram over here now how do i get that consider that in this side this has been in this way this is in this way now at this point you can see that here in this direction so it actually helps this line to the flux distribution in this way and once again it has been in this direction and it has been in this direction now if you consider this one over here consider this line and it has been going in this way now once again this outer line will help is help this flux distribution to go in this way so it is actually making uh, outer sphere and this both this conductor is been attracting each other there is an inner force in between these two conductors because of that here we have signified that say instead of considering the conductor one and two uh, i can say that the conductor a and b that will be suitable say uh, i don't want to erase that say this one is our conductor a and this two is our conductor b and if you consider the resultant lines of force or resultant flux distribution we have got this is our diagram and how do i get that i have already shown you i am going to repeat this portion once again here if you consider if you have started from this point you can see that at this point over here and after after this point you can see that we have got this one these lines of force is actually helping uh, this line to add up so here add add so it actually gives this state drive okay and once again coming back to this point here in the, in this point it is similar so this is in this point now at the uh, for this upper portion we have got uh, this is line has been there and once again we have got this line which actually helps these lines of force to add up over here so here in this way the add up has happened in the downward portion of our uh, flux distribution and for our upward portion also that has happened or that has repeated on the upward portion as, as well now if you consider the inner ring also you will get the same characteristic over here if you consider uh, this this inner ring then after that we will get this form so the force that actually helps our two different conductors to move in this direction or to move closer towards um, uh, in between these two it actually attracts and after this uh, uh, because of this flux distribution the conductor is been trying to attract each other so the conductor will look like this one it, it will attract each other it has been just like this one this is our a and this is b because of this attraction force which is which we have indicated as if the conductor is attracting each other okay in our next part i am 
more concentrated on how do I get the another portion whether for cross and dot or whether for two dots what what would be the uh, condition for our flux distribution that is upcoming or uh, that is next stay tuned with our classes do love our videos do like our videos and do follow our videos if you want to understand each and every detail of any sort of subjects which are directly related with electrical or that is similar with our electrical we will cover up all the classes okay i want to give you two minutes and after that uh, i i will try to give you the another two consideration which is very very important in terms of our flux distribution concepts stay tuned with our classes the time starts now In our previous part, I have shown you if the two conductors are carrying a current which is if these two currents are living with compared to each other or with compared to us, if both the conductor that is been signified as cross, then for that one, the conductor is literally moving towards each other 
and there is some attraction force in between those two conductors now i have got another situation which is if in the left hand side say this is our just like our previous analogy if this is our conductor one and this is our conductor two and probably i am going to come out uh, this diagram in a more much later way initially we have got for our conductor one we have realized that the current is actually leaving which means i have seen the back side of our arrow uh, which signifies that that uh, that the current is leaving which signifies the cross and in the another conductor we have got that is been named as conductor 2 we have got that is been as dot why because this current is actually coming towards us and the direction of the current is in this way so i am just looking at the tip of the arrow okay now i have told you that what is what seems to be the flux distribution for our each and every conductor to go to that we just do require to understand the individual flux distribution first so in our left hand side if you say that if if you do follow the right hand screw rule you do know that if the magnetic flux magnetic lines of force are rotating in the clockwise direction for the left hand side conductor or conductor one the conductor current signification or the current symbol is cross and for our dot one the flux distribution that is been in the counter clockwise direction and which is opposite in nature now in the above diagram we can see that i have got the resultant field diagram in between these two conductors so what we have got in between these two conductors there is some resultant line of force we have got through these three line by using our green and uh, two greens and in the middle part we have got the red okay in the middle part the we have got the strong sense of magnetic force in between these two conductors which actually helps our two conductor to give away or to go away from its original position say we have got this is our conductor one say and this is our conductor two okay for our conductor one we have realized that the current symbol is our cross and for our two that one is our dot now for this condition in our previous condition we have said that that the two conductors are actually attracting each other but for this one it is totally opposite why because the force is been pulled in this way in the middle part of our lines of force and here also it has been pulled in this way so in the middle part of our lines of force the magnetic density or the magnetic field is absolutely strong but if you go at the left hand side of our condition so the field is getting weaker at the left hand side now if you go to the opposite side now we should go to the right hand side of our conductor we will get the similar characteristic just like our left hand side we will realize that the field strength or the field intensity that is been getting weaker in the right hand side as well so it has been strong at the middle part of our uh, middle part of our distance so it has been strong in in between these two conductor gaps and it actually moving away our two conductors so if initially the conductor position is this is one this is two and 
for this one these two conductors are actually moving in the opposite direction and it is actually look like this one it is going away from our one and two consideration over here okay this is the flux distribution condition for our two conduct two current carrying conductors i have shown you the two cross i have shown you the mixed condition for our uh, cross and dot and what is the relevant or what is the resultant consideration over here now i am going to uh, give you another way or another point which is two dot so all i need i just do required to change this middle part of our diagram and do alter the lines of force as usual so i am going to do that over here if i consider that this is been considered as our dot so the magnetic lines of force will be similar just like this one so i am going to change this lines of force over here so this is not these are not in the downward these are all in the upward just like this one okay upward 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 and upward i am trying to focus on if the two current carrying conductors are have the similar dot just like our similar cross analogy so let us find out over here my diagram may be may not be good at this point but uh, what could be done after all first i will complete the line that will be better after that now let us draw the direction of our field now we should do required to change that portion as well what we have got let us see now i am happy with this diagram okay now for this one also you can see that if you do follow the extreme right hand side and for our conductor 2 and 1 the magnetic flux distribution that is been in the same direction if you do follow this uh, outer loop you will get this point as so the direction is in this way and after it is been in this way so for this condition also it is assisting our two condu uh, two conductors uh, and the force is inwards for this condition the force is outwards and it is actually repelling the two conductors but uh, just like our two cross condition here the for center of force is in this way so the two conductors are moving towards each other okay now let us draw the resultant field for that one i will try it we have got the two dots now what should what seems to be the lines of force in the outer outer sense i have got this seems to be the lines we have got this is our direction of our this is the direction and it actually helps to make this uh, one 
and this is our direction over here and this is our direction okay now what is the force direction we have got the force is directing in this way and here the force is directing in this way now i am going to include another lines of force for our resultant path which is uh, say in this way okay now for that one also the similar thing has happened over here which is in this way now for the two dot conditions also we do realize that the two conductors are moving towards each other and we have got the resultant flux distribution for our two dot analogies as well now i am going to write down over here for our first condition what seems to be the condition the condition is if the first condition is this is been considered as our cross and dot which signifies that i am going to write down over here the condition the two conductors are repelling so repelling or uh, i must say going away going away going away the conductors are going away from each other if the two conductors are different in nature one is cross and the another one is dot for the opposite condition if this is dot this is cross once again it is going away the conductors are we have got two conductors and these two conductors are going away now if i consider that both the condition is our dot then i have shown you that the magnetic uh, the resultant magnetic force are in this way it is going towards each other the force direction is in this way so the it is been coming towards each other so towards each other from each other going away from each other and this one is the similar that is why i no longer do require to repeat that same portion over here in the third part if the two conductors are dot it is towards each other it is actually attracting okay i want to give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that i am going to write down in a more fresher way that will be better the time starts now
In our previous part of our analysis, we have tried to write down the conditions or what seems to be the condition if the two conductors, one has the cross and the another one is the dot in convention. So ultimately it is going away from each other. Now we have got reverse that condition. For example, if this is our conductor one condition and this is our conductor two condition. So in the opposite sense, if the conductor has the dot and in the two has the cross, then the same thing which is uh, the conductor is actually going away from each other. Now for the similar conductor condition which is uh, two dot, it is actually going towards each other. Actually it attracts. Okay. And for the last condition if we do have the two conductor is our cross then which is also it is going towards each other the conductor is going towards each other now if i would like to write in a more simpler way i have got the condition for our conductor Okay. Now I have written or I would like to rephrase that if the conductor one has cross and this is dot so it is actually going away from each other for the similar condition which is our condition two if the conductor one has the dot the conductor two has uh, the cross it is similar which is also going away from each other. And if the two conductor has the same convention or conductor convention as our dot, it is going away towards going not away. It is going towards each other, which attracts the two conductors. And for the last condition, if the two, condu uh, two conductors have the two cross, then it is actually going towards each other. Now, if I would like to write in a more simpler way, the going away from each other means attracts the two conductors are actually attracting each other. So I should shorten the term as attracting. The two conductors are attracting each other or it is been attractive. It is been attracting uh, way. Okay. So cross dot means attracting dot cross means attracting dot dot means repulsion no this is not attracting this is the repulsion okay going away from each other It is going away from each other and here the third and fourth condition is attracting okay the conductors are here attracting with each other now I want to repeat that for our two different configuration for our cross and dots the two conductors are actually going away from each other which is the force is in repulsive in nature for the second condition also the force is uh, in repulsive in nature but for the third condition if the two conductor have the same uh, dot configuration we do have the two conductors are going towards each other it is attracting and for the fourth one we have got the same one which is attracting now I have shown you all the cards regarding our flux distribution of our two current carrying conductor. If you still have any doubts, please let us know in the uh, comment section. We will try our level best to improve your concepts. I have shown you all the paths or all the possible considerations uh, which are very, very essential for our conceptual point of view. 
so i am not in a hurry to go to that uh, transformer go to that uh, dc current dc circuit or anything like that all we need we just do required to uh, strengthen our base that is the first point okay so that's it thank you and goodbye If you like my video, so what are you waiting for? Please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned to the channel. Thank you and goodbye.